tired of that Activate Windows watermark staring at you like it's demanding you pay a rent or something? Well, I've recently discovered something that allows you to activate any installed version of Windows 10 or 11 and do it in a way that's virtually undetectable from a normal Microsoft activation. I can hear you now. How can this possibly be legal? Well, I'm going to be honest. It's probably not. That's right, we're delving into a gray area, and even though we might be cheating the activation system by using this script and technically breaking the rules, it appears as if Microsoft themselves really don't care. Before I explain about why it seems like Microsoft doesn't care, if you just want to skip ahead to the details on the script, go ahead and jump ahead to the section in the timeline marked, Run the Script, well, after you hit those like and subscribe buttons, of course, it doesn't hurt to help the channel a little bit now, does it? Like I was saying, it really doesn't appear as if Microsoft is all that concerned about this activation tool being around. Why do I believe this? Well, the script is an open source project that's run and maintained on a website called GitHub. For those of you unfamiliar with what GitHub is, simply put, it's a very popular site where all sorts of open source programs and apps are developed and shared with others around the world. Why does this matter? Well, because Microsoft bought GitHub in 2018 for seven and a half billion dollars. So if they wanted to, they could have shut this project down at any time. The fact that it's still there and thriving speaks volumes about how they're really not that concerned about it. Not only has this tool been around since October of 2020, there's at least one well-known instance where a Microsoft support engineer used this script to activate a customer's Windows installation when the normal activation procedure failed. That's right, Microsoft's own support engineers have used this tool themselves. Not that Microsoft has officially stated that they've used it or that they support it. Of course, they've said the contrary. But that incident has been widely discussed on various online forums, Reddit, and more. Because of this, I'll walk right up to that gray line a little bit and present you with the information for this tool that can activate an already installed version of Windows 10 or 11. Notice how I said an already installed version of Windows. It's not going to give you a key to upgrade an existing version. It's only going to activate what you already have installed. If you want to upgrade an existing version, you're still going to need a key for that or perform a completely clean install without a key and select which version you want to install and then use a script to activate it. I just want to make this clear. I don't recommend, endorse, or condone bypassing or violating any of Microsoft's licensing agreements or doing anything illegal. I'm only providing this information here and you can do with it what you wish. I figure some of you may find this information helpful to set up a home lab or something more. Before I begin, I wouldn't normally recommend to anyone just randomly running a script you find over the internet. Running a script, any script you find randomly over the internet, or anywhere else for that matter, can be dangerous. The thing is, since this is a public GitHub project, you and everyone else can view the script online to see what it's actually doing and make sure it's not doing anything bad or malicious. Can't read PowerShell code? Simply copy and paste it into ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT if the script is dangerous for extra peace of mind. This is one of the few cases where I believe it's okay to tell you it's all right to run this script. Running the script is pretty simple. In Windows, first you need to run an administrative PowerShell command prompt. The easiest way to do this is to right click on your start button and if you're running Windows 11, select Terminal or if you're running Windows 10, select Windows PowerShell Admin. This should bring up the UAC or User Account Control window. Go ahead and click on Yes to continue. At the command prompt, you want to type the following command. IRM HTTPS colon slash slash get dot activated dot win space a pipe symbol space IEX and then press enter. This is the command that's going to reach out to the GitHub repository, download the actual PowerShell script and run it. When it does, it'll present you with a window that should look like the following. Go ahead and press on 1 to activate the version of Windows that's currently installed on the machine that you're running the script on. 
The script itself has some built-in safeguards, like double-checking its own integrity to make sure it hasn't been tampered with, and it may warn you that your antivirus might interfere with it. It'll also check for some other registry keys that could potentially cause it some issues, and if it finds them, it will also notify you as a precaution. But normally, it should simply execute without any additional fanfare. You should see it connect to the internet, install the generic product key, and then activate it and report back that the machine has been permanently activated with a digital license. Now, you might think, how good is this activation? Can't Microsoft tell this activation from one that was done with a valid key? To be honest, better minds than mine, Linus Tech Tips and Bleeping Computer, for example, have tried to determine that answer and have come to the conclusion that as far as they can tell, this activation is as identical to a normal one as possible. That's not to say there isn't some period or comma or some other strange character implanted somewhere that Microsoft sneakily left just in case they wanted to find it at some point in the future, but I'll be darned if I can find a difference. So there you have it. Got that watermark on your screen? Well, you can easily get rid of it one way or another. This one just saves you a trip to the store or from having to pull out your credit card. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you crossing the line using this tool? Do you really think Microsoft doesn't care? Or do you think that they're simply just more interested in collecting all that data on you from the operating system instead so they don't care about the activation anymore? Till next time, my friends, stay grumpy.